Ok, this will be a very useful one, so take a look. At first, you want to create a new composition. Let's for example make this composition, I will unlock the aspect ratio 500 per 500. Then I will select a rectangle with the rectangle tool, I will make it no stroke. The color will be irrelevant, I will just double click here. Alright, we have this shape layer. Now I will open its rectangle, open the path and I will go to size. At first, I will keyframe it, the size should be 0, going maybe 20 frames or 25 frames forward, it should be 500. Ok, we have our perfect big rectangle. Now as I press U, I have those two keyframes. I will take those keyframes, I will of course right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them. I want to ease the animation a little bit, I don't like this graph, so I'll select my speed graph, I'll select the right side and I'll drag it over here. So we have all in all an animation like that. Oh, I see this is 30 seconds, not 3 seconds, so I'll come very very close. I want this to be a very quick animation, boom, even that is too long. Alright, an animation somewhere about this. Ok, perfect, this looks very cool. I'll press now Ctrl D to duplicate this shape and I'll put the upper shape a bit forward. Let me press U. Currently we have two overlapping animations, but what you want to do, you want to make sure that this middle button is here pressed because you want the track mats. On the bottom track mat just select Alpha Inverted Mat. This will create an animation, you see only this one is visible, the upper one is invisible. The upper one is just a track mat. So the first starts to appear and the second will delete it from the middle. All in all, depending on where we put this, we have an animation like that. If we put this further away, this will be a bit slower. If you come closer, it's like that. Perfect, so this is comp 1. Now you can simply press a new composition, 1920 by 1080 and you can take this comp 1, you can place it here and this would be your animation inside of this. This can be smaller, this can be duplicated, let me duplicate it a few times, boom, select this one, select this one, move this one, move them a little bit and you would have animations like that. Very simply, very quickly and the effect is astonishing. I hope this is something very useful to you and this is exactly what this channel is about. Quick, fast, interesting animations that you can perform in a blink of a minute in After Effects. See you in other tutorials like that and you can of course check down below the links to my online courses and all the material I have available. See you next time.